Hi guys, welcome to HelpPerry.tv. So, Naira Mali, Naira Mali, and Kafi. Um, I posted a video as regards this at the um, where Naira Mali replied, Kafi. Um, Kafi is a dancer in Nigeria and she's known all over. Although she's um, kind of a veteran, if I might use that word, um, she said that this soapy dance is immoral, offensive, and rubbish, and it blasts. Um, Naira Mali and his soapy dance, and it, even she even claimed that um, while he was dancing the rubbish dance, um, the dog does the soapy dance too. So it's like this is nonsense that um, she this is not supposed to be. Um, this controversial singer Naira Mali and also someone that had gone to you know EFCC jail custody. Um, I'm not going to talk about that case now, um, where he released a soapy song, and I told you also that um, Rugged Man replied the song trying to correct what he's saying i mean the lyrics of the song well after the release from efcc custody he also introduced a dance step called soapy dance which is trending um even a dog joined in the soapy dance like i said some claim the soapy dance encourages masturbation um reacting to this controversial moves and um, um, dance move kavi said this is a no this is a no um and here she writes let me read that out here she write, I'm sorry but I can't take this. In the history of Ninja dance, I have never seen a more disgusting, immoral dance like the so-called soapy. It should never be encouraged. I'm really disappointed. If you're just joining in, kindly take a moment to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below so you and you alone will be notified whenever videos are uploaded. And well, what do you guys think about this? Do you think uh, this dance move is immoral is not supposed to be allowed and even the theme of the song the lyrics of the song um do you think it's kind of way out way off from the normal i mean are they going extreme well people replied kathy dan said this is a no as a dancer we should all speak for what is right we shouldn't en encourage um this for the sake of trend so now you know that um, a lot of people might say oh this is trendy 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 so we don't use trend as a form of um pushing things that are Im um, immoral things that are harmful to society that's what she said especially when it is not even censored away from kids as an adult self it is offensive rubbish and um, of course a lot of people reply to this and they have their own comment and i'm going to read this out to you here someone say um don flex said i totally concur with you I agree with you that's what that means the signatory dance illustration is immorally disheartening and improper for commercial viewership and yet all, all alone not safe for young um, viewership as well so this one is saying the commercial viewership of this is not you know is not just going to be possible anyway but most of the times this dance are actually for clubs right i mean clubs when people are drunk and they're not actually thinking and then well when you listen to the lyrics of the song um well uh, some might say he's actually recounting his experience in prison uh, because you know in prison a lot of things happen guys have to resort to some stuff since they are not out there in the wider um, society where they can have relationships or do what they got to do so they resort to a lot of um, um sadistic and um i don't know whatever name i'm going to use to kind of um kind of qualify this they resort to some um masturbation homosexuality and a lot of vices a lot of acts that are not acceptable in the society that's what they have to go um, they, they actually do and then we went for that to point at some other parts you know of the nation i kept repeating the soapy thing um and he kept saying a lot of things and people felt like this is like promoting immorality well there is immorality in the nation and nigeria was used to be a conservative society uh, but after a while um people started embracing western cultures and people started doing stuff differently and now we have cross dressers um like that dude what's his name um forgotten his name again and um, like this dude is a cross dresser he's all, all over the place he's been invited to parties um you know part back in those days they would have been flogged i mean you know what i mean but now because it is now we are now in a social media um era and then um, anybody can get popularity by posting one or two things in fact you see a lot of people on instagram doing nonsense all because they want to trend <laughs> well that's just what it is that's the kind of world that we live in now and um it's a social media um world 
now there are no rules and regulation as regards it. that's why then secondly um the nation um, people have lost hope the youths have lost hope with the criminals in power you know people have lost hope the church has failed them and um it's like you know the, the muslims the same thing you know the mosque they the they affairs and all of them they are they had to even collect money from this cross dresser and you know the story that <laughs> that surrounds all of this so this has made people kind of lose hope in clerics in pastors in church in and the government and they've lost hope in themselves too and a lot of people like um Wally Shoinka said he said a lot of youth are illiterate and empty and that when you come online they cannot discuss you know extensively they cannot discuss a topic extensively if you talk about rocket science the next thing you see in the comment section is are you crazy are you stupid are you mad they begin to go after each other rather than discuss the topic because they don't even understand what the topic is all about so that's what Wally Shoinka um, said so here Kathy responded to this don't flex he said please educate them we don't know there there are songs with explicit content and that's why even radio play clean versions at certain times of the day but to push a trend on something as offensive as this to both men and women is terrible and um she um, the another person said i hate when nigerian castigate themselves when one corner came y'all accepted it when pom pom came y'all accepted it when falling on the floor dance came y'all still accepted so people came from nigeria to y'all castigating we are our own enemy what a shit so what do you think about this do you think this guy is making the point do you think he's making the point here what do you think do you think we castigate our own why did people embrace um one corner dance i think that came from ghana i don't know and um some other pom pom that is mentioned in here and the floor dance when you know crazy dance when people just jump on the floor and begin to hump on the floor or the one corner where people just look for some corner and they begin to hump we saw a lot of nigerian artists you know people uh, everywhere actually trying to do the same one corner thing and that we have to pay and people are saying um, naramali is doing nonsense it's not actually promoting the interest of the nation and it's actually not uh, that why, why would he why would he be in you know, encouraging that force it was encouraging cyber crime and um that was sent him to jail for some period of time that he has to still answer to um you know the, the he still has to go to the court and now he has started with this uh, masturbation kind of songs um soapy song and people are like what what is this nonsense so it's like the touch light is on naira mali at the moment that's my thought that's what i'm saying that's my own take the touch light is on naira mali and it seems every um um let me say all that um artists musicians are kind of taking their own pound of flesh from him like i think this guy is going to be a scapegoat and the guy is like i ain't going nowhere because he replied and said she is she's nowhere that she is that she should go with the whole trend that this is the new trend you know something like that and you know that even rap in america has changed back in those days the kind of rap lyrics you hear what they say the beat and everything so you know it's so clear although they also rapped about women and stuff like that uh, but now the rap is unclear you don't even know what they're saying they keep you no know, chanting i don't know if we we'll call that chant they keep repeating that word several times like um, so that's what it is now things have changed so someone here right sorry it's too late so p has taken over <laughs> so this is going to be like a kind of war it's going to be like a fight between the young that do not care any longer they think they don't want to be chained down they want to be free they want to do what they got to do yeah now that's the trend and that's the, that's normal anyway because back in those days when kathy started this dance and um a lot of um rappers started all of these things that they do the other ones were looking at them as corrupt dirty children uh, because back in those days you watch a pop star putting on long skirts and you know dancing and they are all covered everywhere but now it's not the same during cafe era she is also seen to be like okay look at what she's putting on here she's showing a little bit of her you know <laughs> you know what i mean some part of her stuff out is kind of showing there so all the people will look at her and say this lady is immoral how can you do this why she put on this tight jean we don't even wear this now you know what they put on back in those days so it's the same thing you find the older generation looking down at the younger generation as immoral empty uneducated 
and um, you know all of these things are just the way the society is so do you think Kafi is just not being nice to Naramali or Naramali is actually acting out of order whatever your thoughts are let's meet in the comment section below um, so you can drop whatever you are thinking about so here is Naramali um, Ando is like all last until like you, like we've taken over we don't care about any other thing and that's just what it is so guys that is just what it is what do you think about this do you think Naramali should never have released this do you think this song should be censored do you think they um it, it could be probably played in the club yeah uh, do you think it should be censored or stuff like that or we're actually getting a way out of the normal you know way song the lyrics of song should be kind of um arranged in certain ways that it would not kind of corrupt the younger ones um since um no one would want it is is maybe um you want your own child to start singing soapy and acting the soapy thing and letting the masturbation thing or speaking about masturbation maybe you don't want that for your daughter or stuff like that uh, well that's just my own observation about this what is your own observation what is your opinion let's meet in the comment section below and while you're at that kindly take a moment to tap on that subscription button and the red notification icon bell also so you and you alone will be the first to be notified whenever videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by